Okay, guys, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for uh, Terranids against certain factions. Uh, so a really good counter to mass barges. This is uh, I've seen this strategy kind of pull out where people go into just mass barges into Doomsday Arcs and then Monoliths. Um, pretty deadly, uh, but there's a really strong counter to knock out all these barges. Now you're not going to get a perfect hexagon circle like this. Uh, but just to illustrate, say we bring this guy to a level uh, 5. You want to get 3 sonic screams. So not um, avoid the 3. So you're going to go sonic scream, sonic scream, sonic, 3 sonic screams. Um, so I'm not doing level 6 just because... Uh, Sometimes you don't get to level six. So the only items you require to pull off the strategy is a concealed weapon and a stim, a stim pack, I think it's called. Uh, combat stimulant. Okay. So you just need these two things. Uh, and if just for purposes, there's this new item. You don't need to get this, but this is kind of cool. Um, I think it's called... What is it? This? No, it's not the item. Um, it's a new item. Wait, no, it's it's under the blue, I think. Ultra Wideband. Ah, this is it. So if it's a, a rare, not an epic. Uh, item that prevents the unit from being targeted by Overwatch attacks. So pretty nice don't need this but the key is to get these barges demoralized now the nice thing about barges they don't have a ton of uh, 12 but so to understand this if you kill one doomsday arc that's giving us a drop of four morale um but say if you know say if his army is leveled a bit um yeah, it goes up a little bit. Okay, anyways. So, all you have to do is first uh, knock out, you know, get the Alpha Strike in. Um, so, let's just pretend that we're able to... Oh, and here's another note. Um, let's level up the Turvy here. Okay. Um... Okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to move your Turvy up. Like usually he can take a little bit of damage because he can heal. But you move him up. And then you do that. And what this does eats a lot of overwatch. You can see there. Look at that. Beautiful. So that did its job. Ate a lot of overwatch. Um, so that would then allow this Um, all right, so we got in yellow. We got to get get it in red. Um, so more overwatches. Uh, so let's just say we had another term. So basically, you want term gods in your army. Because uh, they're going to do a couple things. They're going to zone... Uh, zone out the enemy army and eat overwatch shots so yeah anyways um let's see if i i mean i would have a bigger army here all right, let's just say uh, just for the sake. All right, not that I need to do this, but basically we now we got it in red. So if you fight a big battle, you get them in red. Um, then you want to make an openings. All right, now, 
this is what you've been waiting for. So if you, you're not going to get like something like this in an actual game, but maybe you'll get one, two, three, four, maybe. Um, so then you're going to go combat stimulant. That's going to bump up your. I'm not going to do the hammer because that's really late game tech. Uh, and then you just do sonic screen. And you just eliminated. And that's not far fetched because when Necron uh, attacks with barges, they, they like to bunch them up a lot. Usually like this, like when they attack a unit. So they're going to give you a nice um, opportunity with uh, High Tyrant to do a scream like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, that is a little tip. It doesn't cost a lot. You're what you're going to do. Avoid the movement. You're going to go three into Sonic Scream and uh, conceal weapon with uh, a stimulant. And then you're able to one shot uh, once once you kind of demoraled, you just have to kill like one or two uh, vehicles and you could do it. All right. So how do you defeat a monolith? And and this and this is all upgraded Necron too, by the way. So a monolith is coming our way. It's quite easy if you have a prime that's level six. Um, so let's let's move it. Okay, so Molith coming. Oh no, watch out. Okay, how do I get rid of it? Well, the Prime just comes. Does exploit weakness. What that does now is say like a Lictor. Like, look how much damage the Lictor does. Like, and I'll just comp uh, compare for people to see how much uh, the difference is. Uh, Monolith. Uh, okay, so this is a a, um, a non weakness monolith. You see, eleven point nothing. But now, because of weakness, you're able to. Yeah. So basically, um, I use very few littles and take a monolith out. Uh, and monoliths are pretty hard because they can hold choke points and with Tyranids you have very limited range. Uh, but there you go. There's some really strong counters for uh, the monolith and um, barge, barge spam. Uh, and High Tyrant is actually quite good against barges. If you throw it on uh, some a vest and bracers, he becomes very tanky and barges can't really do anything to him. Um, so maybe instead of getting... Um, ultra wide, uh, ignore what you get armor on him, uh, might be better. Um, so, and that's pretty much it. I think those are the really strong counters against Necron. Uh, so yeah, try them out and, uh, we'll go on to the next one. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, what do you do against if someone that goes air against you? Uh, well, high crones are quite good versus air units, and also um, certain vehicles in open top, very good with this uh, kind of special spitter thing. But the key thing is getting the alpha strike first. So I'll just give you an example. Um, I'll load the game back here. Say Orc has, uh, they have a little bit bigger air power, but say they get the the alpha strike whoops first i'll show you what's going to happen um so the name of the game is the the alpha who gets who gets the alpha strike so you can see now it does take four But the thing is, Orc player will have I'm like trying to Okay, so anyways, Orc player will usually have more air than your Air Force. Um, now, if, let's say this was level 6, okay. Um, yeah, anyways, 
Uh, so how much could we do back? So you can see there's a... Especially if you do this. I think they still trade better, but the premise is... Yeah, it looks like they can one shot. So, I mean, if you get the superior numbers... Yeah, that's all. But you can see, um, because Orc, I mean, Orc might, it, it's not the best example, but what I'm trying to show here is if you have superior numbers, which the Orc should have more air units than a, a tier nid player, um, that if you have superior numbers and you whittle down the air enough, there can't be a big enough counterattack, so you'll win the air battle. But probably should have made a couple more air units for Orc. But now let's go back and see what if the tier nid player gets the alpha strike uh, b before the orc player now what i would recommend uh, in this matchup uh, when you spec high tyrant uh, get the two movement buffs through loyalty and this okay um to take less damage do more damage and then so like you can see i can go really far here and um, what you could do is jink and take a whole bunch of damage here. So if you had like a, a, a med uh, a medic pack or even like maybe you, you had a high tyrant that could get into position to heal. That's another kind of strategy. But um, all right. So now here's here's where the craziness comes in. So you can watch all the oh gosh. Yeah, you can see how we're just But, so you can see there, the Alpha Strike, you know. Um, so that's the key. Uh, the nice part is, with the High Tyrant, you have better movement than Daka Jets do. Um, especially if you can get it to three movement on Onslaught. Because uh, you got to remember, the, the Tenel Slids are range two, so... I know you're going to say, oh, Daka Jets have range 2. Well, these things have the range 2 things here. So you combine that with maybe plus 3 movement. Then you're getting um, like 10. Oh, wait. Because uh, I have the, the upgrade from the last tier. Okay, it's a little bit. Anyways, it would be 9 with 3 because you, you wouldn't be on tier 10. Um, but my point is, that is how you win an air battle, uh, especially with tier nids, is you use high crone, get him are um on slotted and then try to get the alpha strike that is how you do it and um scouting and knowing where the other enemy air force is that's the best approach so you can count the squares and figure out um what to do sometimes you bait your opponent with maybe one value target he might take it with a bunch of air units and then you go in and just rape uh so that's going to do it for uh, what do you do against air as Tyranid? Uh, so again, high crows are quite powerful. They're they're pretty beefy boys. They have a lot of HP. They have a jink. Um, they're definitely uh, a pretty good air unit. They don't. There's some units like with really high armor. They don't do too well against. Uh, 
but uh, if you know your uh, opponent is going air or you have a feeling or you sense it, definitely want to tech switch or go to air because um, Tyranids really suffers anti-air. I mean, yes, Hive Guards can kind of hold you hold you down, but like if I load it back up, like the Daka Jets kind of rape uh, Hive Guards. And so like if we had, let me just go. I know people like the trial effects, but I don't. Let me see here. So that this is what people might say. Oh yeah, just go try and effects and you. Um, but like you see, you can get overwhelmed. Oh, that wasn't a good move, but. I mean, try effects are good. Um, but the thing you gotta remember is you'll have much more airplanes than your trying effects and um i mean say you have four then he it, it, he might have like 15 airplanes um uh i wanted to show off but yeah i mean obviously the pro so here's the problem yes you could say oh jessica that that looks like it trades well it does trade well but again before you could get one or two of these he's gonna have about 10 or 12 air units uh, before you even have one or two of these. So that uh, could easily overwhelm your base, uh, your army. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you can get a, these out quickly, um, it'll help first anti-air, yes. But I think, I still think you get these way quicker, the Hive Crones, and they do, my personal opinion, I think they do a better job. Like, look at this, like, you would need two try effects to kill just one jet. Whereas these things, you just saw them like rape. Um, but the other thing is like hive guards. Do you see how much damage you do? Daka jets, hive guards. Uh, so yeah, I really think uh, you have to go with high crones against air. I mean, yes, this is a good unit, very expensive and very late in the game. Uh, and I, I think if someone's rushing air, this is not going to be enough, I, I believe. Unless you're in a team game where you can rely on your ally that might have fire prisms or something like that. This will conclude my strategies for Tyranid. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.